What is up, people? Your boy Nasa Kid here, the lesson, and I'm back again with another great video for you guys. Those and those tune in. So this is part two to my recent video on TikTok, and basically I'm asking the question whether TikTok is destroying the current generation or not. So on part two, I'm gonna go deeper in into the blessings and curses that you know platforms like TikTok has, you know, on on its users. And that will basically sum up whether, you know, TikTok is destroying the current generation or not. So, stay tuned for part two. So, yeah. So, content creators, you know, that use TikTok or whatever, they have the ability to create whatever they want. You know, this also ties into the benefits of social media. Any user that uses TikTok, that has the app, is able to instantly upload videos at any time that they want. It doesn't matter where where um, in the world that they live, whether they live in developing or developed country, they have the control and access to do anything that they want, which is amazing. But also, this is also a bad thing, really bad thing, because it doesn't mean that what that person wants to create is good or not. Now, I'm probably not the only one to say this, but it is common. It's a common saying that all publicity is good publicity. But mainly, I'm talking about creating in general. It's just open the door for, you know, like anything. Like people, people now they getting famous for doing the most dumbest things ever. Like people getting paid to just push on one. Doing all these pranks, you know, on social media has been going on for a while. All of these things. Now, obviously, it's good to have fun. I'm not against having fun. But I'm talking about, you know, I'm just comparing this to someone that has talent. Someone that actually wants to make, you know, money off what they love to do. They're having to deal with someone else that just uses TikTok and social media for dumb reasons. I can give an example. Now, this is probably going to be generic. I'm not going to name any names, but let's say someone, let's say a young guy, he, he wants he wants to be a producer. Yeah, he wants to be a producer. He's been producing beats for a long time, and now he really, want, he really wants to make money off of it. Like, he really wants to grow an audience, grow a fan base, where he can gain followers, subscribers, all of that. His option is TikTok. You know, TikTok is a fast-growing platform on social media. You can get a lot of followers. You can get a lot of attention through TikTok. So, initially, what they're probably thinking is, let me get TikTok. So, they get TikTok, the app, and they start uploading. They start uploading. And through that, they are able to make money. If they if they hit a certain amount of followers, certain amount of likes, they are entitled to make money on TikTok. That, you know, is someone that's using the app for the right reason, for promotion. Like, someone can film themselves eating 100 chicken nuggets, yeah? Eating all of the fast food did foods you know, eating all of that for one video and getting a million views, about five, like 50k likes, all of that, just for that. And they get money off that. Whereas you have a struggling artist that's just trying to make, you know, money off what he loves to do on TikTok. That's his competition, which is very unfair, which is this is something that isn't isn't great. So, I say all of this as a result to wrap up, you know, this series is total destroying the generation. It is, it is, because in a way, because because of the advantages that that social media and places that TikTok gives us viewers. Also gives other viewers the right to just create whatever they want and get away with it. Obviously, this community, this community guidelines, but those can be avoided. Like, there's no community guidelines on, you know, stuff in your face with all the types of food you want. You know, jumping off a bridge, those type of pranks, like those type of things. There's no limit to them, so they gain the most exposure. And I feel like that's that's what's just destroying. Like people, like like especially the current generation, just feel like oh they can do whatever whatever they want. 
whatever they want and still blow and still blow and still make money you know this this obviously this is something new cuz i'm sure that in the past it wouldn't be possible but this, this is it's the social media era and this is just what we have to put up with so it's took to the show in a generation i would say yes and it's also good and bad at the same time because there's so many advantages but they can also be used miss that they can also be misused there's advantages but they can they can also be misused which turns it into a disadvantage i would, the only solution i could probably think about this is just like the serious creators they need to keep doing their thing they need to keep uploading keep just keep keep going keep going with what they're doing because you know raw artists they still exist it's just that they're being shadowed by those that just do anything they want it's me the boy nuts coming back on more videos more of everything you guys already know if you're new to this channel and if you like part two make sure you hit the subscribe button and like this video and you know comment share like do all of that to get this channel you know growing stay legendary